Good evening, folks. Here we are at Live from the Underground, which is our weekly series here for the last year. Uh, we started uh, to be sort of in the middle of uh, summer 2020 and wanted to get uh, musicians out uh, since they were not out because of COVID. And we are here in Randolph, Vermont, at uh, the studios of the Underground, the brainchild of Vincent Freeman, who is the owner and engineer of this space and big Thank yous to Babs Mills and Cameron Kennedy for helping us out. I'm Jamie Gage, uh, your co-host, and uh, tonight we have a special uh, uh, appearance from a band from Burlington called Sus, and I uh, want to talk to them a little bit, uh, sort of a little bit off the uh, off the normal uh, scheme of things and do an interview early because we had some... We had some road conditions and some some craziness that that uh, precipitated us to have the show late, which you won't know because you're going to be watching this later, which is all good. Tim and Steve and Toby, uh, welcome. Sus, Thanks. tell me a little bit about, uh, well, first of all, about your journey here. How did that go? Foggy. Yeah, it was real foggy out there, real it's wet. Depressing. Just not good. Not yeah. good, but... You know, we made it down. It's normally such a nice drive getting down here, but yeah, that's yeah. really what slowed us down was the fact that it was dreary out. Yes, <laughs> and your music you is anything but dreary is what yes. I what I'm gleaning right away. Yeah. No hydroplaning though. That's good. Didn't end up no, going sideways much, at all. You know, right? And you got, just the right I, amount. I, yeah, I was admiring your uh, footwear. Uh, I don't know if we can we can we, in the we'll future we'll the get the. Martins. We'll get a little uh, camera action on your footwear. I like it. Looks like you got some grippiness there. Hopefully the tires worked out. Everything was good. Mm -hmm. um, I've only had the occasion to hear you at the Big Heavy World um, event that you did about a year or so ago on YouTube. Uh, Jim is a friend of ours um, and uh, it looked like a great, uh, great event. That You were probably one of the last people before COVID. Oh, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, we love, we love the Radiator, WREV. Yeah. We played yep. there a bunch of times. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah, shout out to Raff and Hudson. Yeah. Yeah. Had us on their show a bunch of Thanks times. Radio, right just, on. And where did great. you guys start? I started this with a guy that I worked with a while, a couple years ago. And then these guys knew me because they like saw me play solo at Radio Bean a long time ago. Yeah. And then one of our friends got me and Toby together and we were jamming and then Toby got Tim to come play with us and that's where we're at now for about a year and a half. Yeah. Probably. And did you have a big pause during COVID or did you end up playing just doing we Yeah, probably about six months we yeah, weren't we like playing at all. Break. Yeah. Yeah. So now in the description of your music, uh it was kind of I, I added my own description, but you you described some psych uh, you tell me how you described it. Your 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 vibe overall. I don't know. It's kind of just uh, stuff that I've written that I think sounds good. I think that if you had to say, it's got like '90s alternative kind of influences and shoegaze and psychedelic and stuff like that. Shoegaze so. is very appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> My battle board didn't fall apart in the car. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I was in here trying to put it back together. All the chords fell out and it fell all over the place. So. Nice. And so you write most of the songs? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I write like the skeletons of the songs and bring these guys to help me right. finish them up. Right. So you start the writing process with lyrics and, and, uh, and a yeah. vibe and a melody? Yeah. I usually just write stuff playing at home and yeah. then we'll... <laughs> Figure out stuff to do with it. Right. What do you take as your uh, your your influences? Uh, like Perry Farrell's like my biggest influence of all time. Probably. I just heard a little. Now that you say yeah. that, you were during warm up. Uh, <clears throat> I heard a little of that. Yeah, kinda. and like uh, you know, grunge and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, Jane's Addiction, Porno for Pyros, Dinosaur Jr., yep. Yawning Man, Meat Puppets, Doom Metal. Yeah, yeah, getting a call out have, for the Mies Pup. It's going back behind the too, '90s. So. Yeah, right on. A little bit of surf. I can't remember what the what the adjectives you used were, but there was like <laughs> it seems like there was psych, grunge, surf, uh, and maybe a couple others. But yeah, you covered it all with everybody that you just a little all mentioned. over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all like from one song to another, it's like oh, it doesn't really sound like the same. Good, like, good, not yeah. monotonous that yeah. way. Right, um, and lyrically, that's, that's the Ween influence. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. From brothers, no less. Uh, surprisingly. Uh, and lyrically, do you uh, take any, or, or what, what do you like to write about? Um, I mean, I've written poetry for a really long time. So I try to just write about like certain aspects of life, like life experiences I've had or that people I know have had or something like that. And then I try to recreate those in like a more poetic kind of thing, you know, a lot of metaphor and stuff like that rather yeah. than saying yeah. stuff like straight out. Yeah. So. A little Jay Mascus, a little, uh, yeah. Michael Stipe, a little yeah, Perry Farrell. Cool. Very cool. And, uh, headquartered in Burlington. Uh, you guys plan out much? Uh, I mean, we've just started. So we, I mean, we just wrapped recording our album. So once harsh medicine, right? Yeah. Once we get rolling so. on, uh, Getting that out, we're probably going to start playing. Some well, we have a show tomorrow. Yeah, we have a show tomorrow yeah. at Swan Dojo in Burlington. But that's where, where is it at? Let's Swan Dojo on Church Street. Swan Dojo. Yeah, it's a dance studio that I uh, host concerts on up there. At the uh, I host concerts up there on the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I, yeah. I got it out. It's going to be a great show, though. In addition to us, uh, Community Garden is playing, and Grease Face and Ponds. Nice. Which I'm be a good really show. You should, for, yeah. you should come. Yeah. I love you. All should those all come. Bands, so. Yeah, I'm it's going to be cool. It's only five dollars. Right, Toby coming in with a with a promo and and the push on the meat puppets. I like it. It's good. Yeah. Good back there. Yeah, right on. Well, Hold I don't want to take too much of your time. People have been waiting. They're excited. We're excited. Happy to have you here at the underground. Without any. Oh, I do want to ask before. Sorry, I gotta. I got to put this out there. I'm not even going to ask the question because I just already did before we started. But SUS is an acronym. And we don't know what it means. And I threw out uh, an idea because I saw it on one of their pages. And they said, no, it's up for interpretation. A lot of people have (laughs) a lot of ideas. So I'm going to put it out there to the greater listening audience in the Internet world that we we, uh, get some suggestions. Because I like there's, I think there's a story backstory here, and we'll find out what it is at some point. But in the meantime, we're taking suggestions for what, what S U S really. Whoever sends mean. us the best name, will use it on yeah. a record, and we'll royalties will on a we'll, single. We'll, yeah, <laughs> we'll we'll come your way because we're mysterious like that. Mysterious. Yeah, it can without, mean anything you want. Without further ado, the mystery grunge psych. Perry Farrell inspired rock music of Sus. Keep 
it locked up in my chest say is next. Yeah, this song's called What Can I Say? And this song is about What Can I Say? What can I say? I feel the rain on my face for the first time. What a name.
shot I think I hurt myself Climbing through the glass Maybe I'm better now Maybe I'm just an ass Cause I never said I was free Never said I was free Never wanted the dream
That's a new song. We've only played it like a couple, a handful of times. Two practices we played that song. Brand new. Brand new. Okay, let's do Pump Grubbies into Grudge Ball.
something on my Something on my
not prepared. I'm not prepared. Gonna get dicked up. <laughs> okay. Hit me. Just not right now. Come tomorrow. We'll have a lot more. <laughs>